Good afternoon, 47. Your target is currently at Thornbridge Manor to steal a painting by Cecil Bardu. It turns out he's quite the master of disguise. Well, Diana, <laughs> so am I. Anyway, here I finally am at Dartmoor Manor, where the weather is absolutely glorious. And whilst the average layman may think that I've come here today solely to admire this miserable British weather, the actual truth is that I've come here with two goals and two goals only. Neither of those goals being that guy or that guy or those guys. Oh, oh. Metal fence is my only weakness. <laughs> How did they know? <clears throat> as I was saying, or this guy, or this guy. My two objectives, as you can see up in the top left corner of the screen, are to eliminate a guy by the name of Cody Haynes and to retrieve an optional painting. Now I know at a glance, Cody Haynes looks like the kind of guy that sits down next to beautiful women on park benches with the briefcase that has a camera facing upwards. But the actual fact is that this man is an art collector. <laughs> An art collector so obsessed with his collection that he literally goes around and murders the previous owners of the artwork that he now owns. Also, one time in college, after a little bit too much cocainus, he rolled himself down the street completely naked like a bowling ball. They say to this very day, his fingers are still stuck in his ass. And speaking of our second objective, this is it right here. Retrieval of the Potato Jesus Part 2. No female gender version. Now, as I'm not planning on immediately murdering everybody as soon as I walk into this glorious mansion before me, I think it's probably going to be a worthwhile endeavor to walk back here and turn myself into an officer of the law. And then like any good officer, I'll dispose of this body in the bog right here, and then I'll head on in ready to do police stuff. <laughs> Just leave these ones here. So yes, this is an elusive target mission, meaning that I have one chance to do this successfully and one chance only. Which, honestly speaking, is a rather terrifying thought. I mean, if I fail this, I don't get another chance, and then I just... I'm Sorry, could you just pick my brick up for me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Well, what a way to go. Wow, that's a deep bot. Wow. Where did the body go? So here I am at the Carlisle residence. Yes, the Carlisle residence, the richest people in England and the people who own the greatest collection of potato Jesuses in the entirety of the galaxy. So my first order of business after picking up this crusty old baseball is to first go inside the house and pick up the little something something that Diana left for me, which should be right here inside of this window ICA drop off. Here we go. Oh, it's a secret one. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. So on this mission, just like any other mission I go on, I've brought a couple of cheeky cheeky toys with me today to help me get the job done. I've got my Kruger Meyer 22 Silver, a remote CX demolition block, a remote CX demolition block MK2, the seeker one that I just picked up, and of course my handy dandy little murder camera. Perfect for taking glorious Instagram ready photos before pushing people to their ultimate demise. Say cheese bun hueros. <laughs> there he goes, all right. Well, now that that's out of the way, I guess it's time to finally get this show on the road. Oh, the detective. And you know, I can't help but feel like the detective outfit is just what I need. So, uh, do you like stuff? I mean, you, you look like the kind of man that likes stuff. You know what else you look like? The kind of man that likes a good bullet. Good bullet in the face. So while I wait for you to walk to a secluded location where I can make your dreams come true, I'm just gonna come over here and, oh, is anyone looking? I don't think so. Rip the horn off a unicorn. So tell me, you feeling horny? And now, like a true master detective, I will dispose of the body to ensure that nobody discovers my true identity. <laughs> That's another really deep bot. <laughs> He's underneath the lilies. Yeah, not the best uh, place to dispose of a body, gotta admit. Done better. And could you not hit the dab, please, mate? That's honestly... You just got pushed off a balcony and you decided to do that with your final breath. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Anyway, now that I'm a private detective, I should be able to move around the manor without anybody suspecting that I'm not who I say I am. Get away from me, you creep! <laughs> Fair, fair. Well, the good news is that it looks like I've definitely come to the right place. Beautiful, expensive works of art everywhere. Ah, uh, this is a very famous one. This is called Dog Smelling Dog's Ass. It's uh, worth 50 trillion bazillion hundred dollars. And what I've just realized, besides the fact that there are a couple of coins here on the table that I'm going to pinch because I'm a desperate... I'm just, I'm just desperate. Is that there are a lot of people in this mansion and I have absolutely no idea who the man I'm looking for actually is or where he's located. These are really nice rifles. I don't suppose you would have any issues with me stealing them, would you? Are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not here for that, Fernsby. Um, this is a different mission. This is the one where I'm looking for the serial killer art collector. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going... Yeah, that's, that's kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Agent 47 looking for... Uh... Hmm... <laughs> uh, Mmm, chandelier. Oops! How did that happen? This is a terrible accident over here! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. An accident indeed. 
<laughs> oh god, the candle's possessed. Oh yeah, I think you might need to call the Ghostbusters. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> All right, so where is this man that I'm looking for? You know, I've got a feeling. Oh, hold on a second. That's a strange looking character that I've never laid eyes on before. That is Cody Haynes, obsessive collector and master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't challenge me, Diana. I actually really like that red tie that you've got on there. That's uh, you're, you're obviously a man of culture, like myself. I need to use the restroom. It's right here, sir. I'll be Hello. waiting just outside. You'll be waiting outside? <laughs> this guy's so annoying. Oh my god. It's also kind of ironic that you've decided to head into the bathroom for a little bit of a poo-poo pee-pee. Because you know what happens to people when they poo-poo pee-pee around Mimi. Oh, look at this sneaky bugger. He transformed it. Wow, you really are a master of... Who are you? Who, sorry, sir. Have I seen you before? I... I don't recognize you. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought there were two bags of crack cocaine. But it's two bags of sweet loving. <coughs> All right, so I'm not going to lie. It's kind of tempting to just do away with this guy right now. But I'm kind of curious to see what else he gets up to. I mean, after all, he is a master of disguise. Um, you are invading my personal space, <laughs> sir. You dropped your... Oh. Disappeared. You got another one? <laughs> He's got never-ending stash of feather dusters. Now, because this guy is looking for the Potato Jesus number two female gender edition, it's probably a good idea to follow him long enough to find the location of the actual painting. After all, I assume that if he's come here looking for it, he has some idea where it actually is. I mean, there are a ton of other Potato Jesuses on the wall right here. It'd be very, very easy to get confused, especially this one. This is phenomenally well done. That's Potato Jesus over 9,000 steroids in the bum edition. Are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? Listen, idiot. I already told you I'm not here for the crime scene. Just shut up, you stupid old fart. I don't know who you think you are, sir, but I'm not letting you pass. You're not letting me... Are you serious? All right, pal. Can you just pick up my feather duster? Seem to have dropped it at it. All right, now to get a quick change of disguise. Now, hold on a second. Even after a change of outfit, you still know that I'm not one of you. Oh, that's... All right, feather duster, here we go again. Now, I'm going to slip through here and close the door conveniently behind me. And now I've got free access to Mr. Haynes. Oh, Mr. Haynes, what are we doing today? I don't think I know you, do I? No, I'm Pete. It's my first day. Oh, I wasn't told. I'm sorry you had to start today of all days. I'm a bit out of it. <laughs> what a weird way to introduce yourself. Ugh, this guy's really proving to be a little bit of a problem. Oh, sh**. Show me your hands Not now. Sorry, mate. That was totally unintentional. Oi. That wasn't, though. Jeez. Shut up. Shut up. You have the potential to completely ruin everything that I've worked for, crazy lady. Oh my, that's quite the G-banging you've got on there. I feel like I could probably floss my teeth with that thing. Anyway, that's a couple more of the obstacles in my path taken care of. This is not what I expected. How can that horrible woman still be alive? And why does she keep half an army in her home? Well, she's protecting the valuables. You know, there are a lot of, a lot of valuables in this place. Oh, you need to stay calm and wait for the guards to leave the... Ah, oh, I see. Okay, well, there's obviously something in the office that the guards are protecting. I'll just head on in there because I am a guard after all. Hello, gentlemen. Gentlemen, I mean gentleman, I mean dead man. Now to take care of these two guys. Hey, here's that bullet that you ordered off Wish, and uh, here's your trip to <laughs> Stonehenge. <laughs> I don't know. So now that all three of the guards have been taken care of, Cody should be able to waltz right on into the office and locate the painting that he's come here. Oh, filigree egg. I'll steal that. Love myself a good old, love myself statue head as well. <laughs> Has this guy been here the entire time that I've been murdering people literally in front of him? All right, well, while you're alive, Cody is not going to be able to steal the picture, so I'm just going to uh, take care of you and then stuff you in this box. Just temporary. Don't worry about it. I need that painting. It's mine. Mine alone. <laughs> okay, settle down, Bob Ross. All right, you know what? I'm getting kind of sick of waiting for that gosh darn idiot to come in here and find that painting. I am going to find it myself. Potato Jesus number two female edition. Hello. You are looking extra potato-y. Hey, dumbass, it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy doing for real? I already killed them all, bro. One of them fell off the balcony. One of them's living in that box outside. And there's two of them stuffed inside of that one. This place is literally yours for the taking. Just, it's up there. Go and do whatever it is. You know, you know what? <sighs> I don't like you. Yeah, you know, I, I really don't like you. You've got no intention of taking that picture. You're just going to walk around endlessly like an absolute twit. So, seeker one, it is time for you to do your thing. I'm going to place a conveniently placed dart in your... Banqueta? I'm about to puke. Oh, you're about to puke, are you? Well, that's... T um... No. Can't believe this is still happening months after release. What a heap of poo. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cody Haynes heading into the bathroom to spew up his Cody brains. There we go. Let it all out, pal. Come on, you'll feel... Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> it was kind of funny watching them spew with three fingers, doesn't it? Oh, God. Anyway, I've got a message for you when the message comes from the local bowling team. They'd like to remind you to always stay hydrated, you dirty, dirty boy. That's right. Drink it all up, you terrible, terrible man. You will not be stealing any more artwork or killing the previous owners of the artwork because you are now dead. Oh, he dropped a, dropped a bloody... Uh, Okay, he dropped a hobby knife and a treasure map. <laughs> well, thanks. You know, I didn't have a map and I found the painting. You literally had one and you walked past it a couple of dozen. You're, you know what? This is where you belong. I don't even feel bad. All right, so now that old Cody Haynes has been taken care of, I guess I can come in here and steal this painting. The only problem that I foresee, however... Oh, yeah, that's clever. Anyway, now officially, my work here is done. But unofficially, there is still a couple of loose ends that I'd like to tie up. Both of which involve some CX demolition block MK2 block. Block, CX block. And now in the words of the legendary Italian philosopher Mario Brothers, here we go! Oh. Well, you know, it's, yeah, it's Hitman 3. Not really, not that surprised. Oh, didn't even detonate that. All right, didn't detonate that one. Let's give that one a try. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, you know, break the cloud barrier out of the Earth's atmosphere kind of thing, but... Yeah, that was that was pretty crap. As a matter of fact, that was so unsatisfying that I feel like there's still one more thing I need to do before I leave. All right, Mr. Security Guard, so out the window you go. And now, Agent 47 wannabe. <laughs> Where did it go? It, it bounced through the ceiling. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, dear Mrs. Carlisle, you are not looking too good at all. You look like you need to pay a visit to the good old bathroom. All right, you old bird, I've got a message for you from um, Booty Lovers Anonymous, and they want to let you know that you got a big old thick booty, and uh, always stay hydrated. That's right. <laughs> Drink that water. It matches your dress. All right, well, I feel like my work here is done. Oh, I don't have a limousine. Hold on a second. I'll be back. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not a limousine. <laughs> that's hers. Uh, may as well become the undertaker as well. It seems only fitting. Let me just stuff you into the grave where you belong. <laughs> that's that's ironic. Isn't there a shovel around here somewhere? That's comedy gold right there. If there ever was comedy gold. All right, Dartmore, England. It's been real. Real freaking depressing. This place. Get off my Lamborghini. <clears throat> real freaking depressing. Bye-bye. <laughs>